Hi, welcome to Studio Chat with Dave and Frank. I'm David Salamone. This is Frank Salamone. Master photographer. Master photographer. <laughs> <laughs> We're here just to kind of talk about our lives as professional wedding photographers or just professional photographers in general and business people um, to share with you. And we have some topics that, you know, for, through our everyday experiences, we want to, you know, share with all of you. So the first topic I want to talk about is let's do working by yourself as opposed to working as a team dynamic. Sounds was, uh, like a plan. Last week I went out for the first time in a long time by myself and it sucked royally. Um, just the, the dynamic of being so used to having two people there as opposed to one um, just changed dramatically. Just even with the interactions with the clients. I mean, the clients loved everything. We, you know, I captured great stuff, but it wasn't the same as when I had you know, someone with me. Now you've worked back many years day, by yourself. Back in the day, there was no second photographer. You were the photographer. Well, because you were buying film and you were too cheap to buy more film for a second photographer. That's very true. Yeah. That's very true. Uh, but you had your, most of your photographers were out shooting other, other jobs for you. So everybody was doing was one photographer and I would run around and, and catch up with my photography staff and do special setups. If we do like three weddings, I would see three brides at a time. That's really well. Hustling. That's just insane. That's really hustling. But it's got that second photographer kind of feel to it because you have someone going in there to get a backup shot, to get different angles, and do something. Special. But do you feel? I mean, also we're talking about a different level of service and photography we're providing at that time. I mean, are we pre my existence at this time? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. So, um, you know. Do you feel that our clients benefit more when there are two photographers there all day as opposed to just one? Definitely. It's, you know, in the digital, digital world, the two photographers really makes more sense, especially with the, the way that the window of, of our, our photo sessions on a wedding day is so short. You know, you have, you plan for an hour and a half for a, a creative photo shoot and all of a sudden the bride's late and you have a, down to a half hour. Now with two photographers, you can really catch up and capture a lot of images in that one half hour where if you're by yourself, you're not going to get it. Well, now, now you talked about it like in the back when, when we just did a single photographer. But now going from us doing two photographers for so long, going back to a, you know, for some jobs to a single photographer setup. I mean, do you feel, you know, a difference just from your standpoint of you know, being by yourself as opposed to being with PJ or with, you know, you know, one of us, you know, on the job. Because I know, I, you know, just in the fact of just you're by yourself, no, you know, as, as opposed to someone being, to kind of bouncing you know, ideas off of, or even though they claim that I just do everything and don't let them have ideas. Um, but, you know, you don't have that other person there as your kind of, you know, it's just backup, just, I mean, if you are running short, like I can send PJ to just do the guys while I'm working with the girls. Yeah, but there is there is that concept where where when we're molding and and and, and working a um, styling a pose or something, the angle that we have is is really a super angle. But there's another super angle that someone could get from another end. And if you have the second shooter, a good photojournalist who's in tune to this, they're going to get some really good shots. And that's what our staff does. Yeah, PJ goes out with me, and then he comes back with some really amazing photographs. So the two of us together, the the quality of images that our couples, our families are getting you know, is much more superior than a single person. Yeah. You just can't cover it. In the digital world, when you when you have the uh, accessibility to shoot thousands of pictures, you really need to have different angles. You really have somebody that's sharp that, you know, your eyes, you see something, wow, bam, and you go and turn and take a quick shot. So the digital technology is a lot different than back in the day when you had... 20 rows of 120, and that's what you basically shot for the film. You had 300 pictures, 300 shots. And if you did more than 300 shots, you got in trouble with the studio owner. Which was you. Yeah, that was... <laughs> yes, which was you. Um, <laughs> film was but now even though we talk about, you know, taking you know, lots of pictures, you know, even on the digital spectrum, you know, I mean, there's an argument between us and, 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 and another photographer about, you know, that we take too many pictures on our. Um, I've, I've always run this, I'd rather have the shots than not. And, you know, if I have 3,000, 3,500 shots on a job, great. Uh, but, you know, the, the dynamic of the two people also leading to different angles and moments on not just the posing end, but on the photojournalistic end. 
um, which is, you know, where more I come from to look for on the photojournalistic end of being in the two locations at once. Uh, it makes a big deal also when we talk about, you know, designing a story for an album. You know, I have a lot more content to use when I have two people as opposed to when I have one. I mean, I can create a beautiful album with one, but I'm also, I'm hustling my ass off to make up for not having that second person there. I don't know, it's because I'm yeah. not used to not having the second person there, so I feel like I have to take up more slack. Well, the difference between what we do and the proactive photographer like you were talking about, they have a routine. And they basically do that routine, and they, when they're editing, they don't want to go out of that routine. So if you have a true photojournalist who's capturing the reality of the story as it unfolds, it's not working with his constant routine. In the photojournalistic style that we do, we're capturing that story as it unfolds together. So when we have all the images, the story is right there and it's something special, it's something real that pertains to that couple, that family. It's unique to, the, to our clients and that's what people love about what we do. So, so from your standpoint, which, I mean, we're looking at kind of, you know, having a single photographer coverage, is it beneficial for us from also our standpoint, also from the client standpoint, to be shooting with a single photographer. And for people out there that do shoot a single photographer, should they look to have, you know, build in and add on to their package to have a second photographer there just to be able to create more content and better content for, for the client? Well, you know, the economics have a big play in, in a single photographer, though, you know, dual photographers. Uh, the cost factors is, is really important. And if someone's on the lower end of the spectrum as far as their cost factors and what they're producing for their for their families, it's hard to spend an extra X amount of dollars for a secondary photographer. Uh, when you're in the market like we're in when, and the couples are looking for something, they want to spend a little bit more, they want something extra special, they're going to come to us because of what we do. So economics plays a big role in that. Uh, one photographer, two photographer. And if you're, if you're a shoot and burner, you're not going to have another photographer dealing, you know, hanging around with you that you're going to give 500 bucks. No, because not only do you have to charge 500 bucks, you have to make a profit on that 500 bucks as a business owner. Exactly. You know, you can't just, just you know, you want to bring out a second person, pay them three to $500 or something, and then just, you know, increase your price $500. You're not, there's no benefit to that as, as a business person. Exactly. Um, yeah. That's, that's one of the biggest problems with photographers. Photographers are, they're basically in the art form and they don't realize the business and the cost factor of what they're doing. That the time is money. And if somebody else is there and they're spending them $300 or whatever it is, you got you have to produce $600 or so they get some kind of a profit out of it. Yeah, it's a charge at least $600. It's usually three times markup and most photographers don't do that. No, at least I would say four times. You know, to, to really, you know, after you add everything up in your taxes and all that crap, you really need, you know, to, to have that extra person out there. Sure. You know, on a job. You know, but then, you know, it's just from the standpoint of the, the, the you know, from me looking at it as of doing it, you know, I don't prefer it on our end. I'd rather say, you know, on a higher end to have a more of a team aspect just from, you know, the creative standpoint, the mental well-being standpoint of you're, you're by yourself for 12 hours, you know, yeah, in, yeah, in a car for two hours. The part is that in the economy and economic uh, situation that we're in, when a client comes in and they have a tighter budget, you have, you have to cut something. And to cut something would be a second photographer and still they're going to get the beautiful single photographer of the studio, you know, what we do. Uh, but it's, it's, it's what it is. It's the animal what it is. So, you know, you, you're not yeah. used to it. Does that, does that, you know, but is it more beneficial than to not take those jobs because it does devalue the work going out as a single photographer as opposed to the, the team of two? Because all, you might, also on the other end, you have two guys that charge no money. They're charging $1,500 and going out with a crew of two. <laughs> I think the disc, but are those guys going to be in business for that long? I don't know. No, they're going to, they're, everything's going to burn out, uh, hopefully towards the end. But in the market that, that we're in and, and you have uh, a diminishing as far as a high end market and people more going down into a lower end and people have a little bit, you know, they're less income, less money to go for a wedding. We have to be, um, you know, conscious of that. And the reality is, you know, when, when, when the higher end, goes down and you're shooting less jobs, you gotta pull it in. You gotta pull it in from something. So so what would we recommend to the people out there? Right now either they they are they're just a one off person, you know, would they look into investment to hi, to have a second person on their job? Or right now, just because of the times just kinda of keep it tight and contained? 
have it maybe as an option, as an add-on, have a second package that incorporates a second photographer? I would do that, but the first thing, you know, if you're working by yourself now and you don't have anybody, uh, get an intern, get somebody that's interested in photography just to work with you and start learning because you really got to mold together. It's really difficult. I've worked with a couple of situations uh, where my second photographer, I'm not used to working with it, and they're, they're kind of... Oh, because you're spoiled. All over the place. We spoil you. I want to make sure that the person is there to capture exactly what we need to get. To get. I mean, luckily for us, you know, our second photographers have been around a long time. Exactly. And you know, they know pretty much but, what we want. But it's, you know, it's something that you, if you're a single photographer right now and you just want to branch out into that, get somebody... Have some fun. Pay her fifty dollars. Pay them whatever it is. Something, something, something just for their gas, and and then and then slowly grow into a second. Or start them out as an package. assistant and have them just shoot some stuff during the ceremony yeah. and you know reception type of things. Right. Not the crucial areas that you, that you need. No, but I would I would let them experiment and go out and see what their eye is and see what they what they're bringing in. Yeah. Uh, assistant means that they're going to be hanging around you and they're not going to be really. Thinking and viewing and seeing the shots. Well, shouldn't they be seeing, you know, from a standpoint, if they haven't been out before, kind of just, you know, what you're looking for and kind of, you know, as, as you know, they're just holding the bag, watching what you're doing to kind of get a feel for the style. Because you also don't want their style to be too drastic from yours. No. Because because then it, you know, doesn't mesh with the look of, right. of, of your company. And, uh, but, you know, so this way, you know, you have them kind of just, just watch and kind of, you know, okay, now here's the camera during the party. Go get some dancing pictures. Keep it like this and then. See what they come back with. See, what I was more concerned about this photojournalism back when it first started meant, I'm not posing anybody. I'm not doing this. going to take pictures. That's not working. That's not good. That's not really the way to work it. You really have to be a director and channel the energy so that your photographs are going to be well, pleasing and not the backs of heads. It depends upon what you're shooting. No. Our photojournalists, when they first started, they're not going to talk to anybody. They're just going around to take pictures. Oh, do we want them to talk to anybody? No. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah. When, when it comes time to where, where you want some bread and butter pictures, after the first dance, everybody gets up to, get to the dance to a slow dance. I don't want to see backs or heads. I want them to tap on the shoulder. Well, old school and get a nice dance pose was that's a well that's, that's, that's on a slow dance but when we you know our, our basically you know when you when you sat me down a long time ago you said all right you're gonna go out and shoot because i was only allowed to take like the back of the aisle shot and you know some reception picture you were here's the hasselblad here's it's on f8 at 60th of a second just no backs of heads and, and if it's if it's film. and and change the film and if it's because it was no autofocus if it was this high, it was six feet. If it was full length, eight feet. And if you got a wide shot, it was 15 feet. That was my basic criteria. That was and it. no back to heads. That was it. So the, the back to heads, that's just you know, good, good photography. You know, that, feet, on the photojournalistic feet. standpoint, you know, that, that's just you know, basic composition of composing the image. It's not to get back to heads. I mean, if somebody goes out and they just get back to heads, you got to say, look, look this you is not You have to right. have some common sense. Well, with anything. You know, and that's the most important part. And if you think you're a photojournalist, you have to talk to people or direct people, so it's going to be pleasing to the camera. You're not doing it. Well, it depends upon what you're doing. If we we're, differ if here, if, a if lot. we're if we're we if we're posing, if we're doing our pose couple shots, no, there is direction. If we are going for a a first dance, okay, and we are watchers. Are we not? Right, exactly. Are we not stand back and for when that moment when, when, when he when he dips her or he picks her up or, or somebody's crying in the background, we have no interaction with But that. you're watching and making sure they're looking at each other, you're seeing well, yeah, their no, faces, that's, you're seeing the emotion. That's composition. Okay. It's it's all about emotion. Yeah. And relationships. Yeah. And capturing the little kids and the little no nuances mm -hmm. that yeah. happen during the during the day. But when you're working with the the people and just crowds you want to make sure that there's some kind of continuity in the photo. How did we tangent into photojournalism versus traditional pictures? <laughs> well, because this is a discussion I, for a different, a much larger discussion for a different. I love different photojournalism. No, 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 no. And I think it's a beautiful format, but also I'm not saying those, don't. Doing those, doing those certain it took you certain, a while to get you around to the it, certain yeah. times of it. <laughs> You need to be a good director. Well, there's also certain times in the, and I feel in the post section I, I not, of, not of you, it. Did I not get you into directing so that you're working a little bit more with the with the couples? Well, I, I, from when we have to work together, 
You could not tell me that we do not, that we operate very differently. <laughs> For sure. We operate very differently. And our results come through, you know, very similar, but we, we get there in a different way. Um, but this is this is the topic for well, for have, another discussion. I have four um, years of experience of doing a lot of different styles of oh, yeah. and 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 when I when I am at a wedding, you could use all those different techniques. That's what I do. Right. Well, this is we're going we're going along. <laughs> we'll discuss this at a different uh, different topic. Um, thank you, everybody. Um, stay tuned. We're going to have more conversations. Two photographers is better than one. Two photographers oh, is always better than one. It's a lonely, lonely desert out there by yourself. Um, Thank you, everybody.